Good afternoon. My name is Ruben Arif Shatan. I'm a scientific curator of this conference. And um, over the last 10 years, together with uh, Georg Scholhammer, I've been working uh, with, uh, um, on the project uh, The Local and Modernity. This project uh, started in 2004, and uh, this project focused uh, on enormous heritage of the uh, second half of the 20th century in architecture, which um, uh, we can still find in the Soviet Union, uh, in the Middle East, and in Eastern Europe. So it was a very broad uh, project, but uh, the main focus was the Soviet Union and all the republics. So our motivation for this research was quite simple and straightforward because, first of all, the uh, beginning of the years 2000s was a period when we observed uh, how architecture collapsed just uh, in front of our eyes. The cities that had uh, uh, different structure, different uh, uh, logics and philosophy uh, began to change uh, before our eyes and at the same time the society was changing and um, it was very uh, strange uh, how the society reacted onto this history, on this uh, uh, history, uh, history and heritage, uh, sometimes in schizophrenic way, related uh, um, uh, especially to that period of time that we're studying today. For example, Stalin's architecture uh, was uh, out of this uh, dissatisfaction because we can see how the architecture of Stalin's uh, uh, period of time can see, uh, can find its um, uh, uh, continuation in today's architecture. So it was a huge crisis that uh, the society had and uh, it shows that the society not only uh, goes back to those principles of totalitarian state, but also the systems of being, the systems of existence, and the uh, relation, relationships, uh, the philosophy of life with this hierarchy. So this project had its uh, continuation uh, in 2012, because uh, we had uh, an exhibition on Vienna Congress, then uh, one year later we curated uh, this exhibition in uh, Istanbul together with Georg, and then last year there were some other events uh, um, when we started collaborating with Garage. Uh, Um, the um, exhibition uh, uh, about crossing modernity was represented in Sao Paulo. And another project uh, which is uh, overlapping with uh, this uh, project, the local and modernity, uh, is uh, called Sweet Sixties. So during those sweet 60s, there is some history which is not known, and it's out of the long um, uh, global history, the geography of uh, those 60s, the canons of those uh, 60s. Um, it was very broad. It started in China, India, it covered the Central Asia, um, it covered the Soviet Union, the Eastern uh, Europe, of the northern Africa and um, uh, even reached the uh, South African 
continent. So the history of those uh, uh, times, uh, the 60s, uh, helped to understand the worldview of modernity through the research in literature, architecture, and many other uh, spheres. And when we speak about modernity, it's important to refer to the crisis of uh, the communities and the idea of cyclical character. Because these ideas related to worldviews are always shaking up the collective uh, um, thinking, the collective mindset. Uh, uh, and, and later on, it always um, goes through this crisis stage. So if we speak about the architecture of the 60s and the modernism of the 60s, we can see that uh, that vertical structures, uh, very strict hierarchy, would be replaced by a completely different architecture, a different philosophy and organization of space that was ethereal. It never claimed to be eternal. And at the same time, that architecture gave some prospects, uh, provided some um, uh, dimensions, uh, the dimensions for happiness which is uh, contrary to um, those uh, um, dimensions related to um, claims, uh, claims um, to be eternal, claims of eternity. So I would like to introduce the speakers today for this session. The first uh, speaker would be Sergei Sitar and he's going to talk about the aesthetic truth of Soviet modernism between the symbolic order and the manageable consensus. Sergei Sitar is an architect and uh, a critic. He's editor of uh, um, uh, the uh, magazine. He is also scientific leader of a regional program echo of regions uh, uh, in the Republic of uh, North Ossetia. Then the second speaker is David Crowley, and he's going to tell us about the um, ghosts of Soviet modernism in Eastern Europe. And this is a very interesting topic, which is um, about uh, a different form of modernity, parallel modernity that uh, was taking place next to us that is not so well known. And the third speaker would be Alexander Sverdlov. And Alexander Sverdlov is going to talk about modernism uh, between fatigue and resilience. This is the topic of his report. So I would like to invite our speakers to come to the microphone. The first speaker, please. <laughs> 